We can also use the spread operator with objects. And where you often see this is with React.js applications. And if you want to learn more about React, check out my course on React where I teach you how to build this awesome user interface. So to use the spread operator with objects is the same thing. So let's say that I have this object right here called address, which has city, country, and then the postcode. And we also have another object name, which contains first name and last name. So if I want to combine these two objects into one, without the spread operator, we would simply say const and then person equals to, and then we would need to say city, and then this would be address, and then dot city, and then comma, country, and then address dot country, and you see how it goes. But we don't have to do this because this is a long winded way. So instead, we can use the spread operator. And we can simply say const and then person equals to, and then open and close curly brackets. And inside simply say dot dot dot, the same with arrays, and then say address. And I can go ahead and also spread the name object. So I can say dot 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 and then name and end that with a semicolon. Now I can go ahead and simply log json.stringify and then simply pass person just like so. I can go ahead and pass no and the actual indentation. So let me say to save this. And right here, you can see that I've got city, LA, country, USA, so on and so forth. So as I said before, you see this a lot when you write React applications to pass down information from the main component to the sub component via props. Join me in the next video. See ya.